white popcorn. Mm. And then half of it we put in like chili lemon flavor. And the other half has, what is it? Like, like some kind of sweet caramel. Not caramel. <laughs> you should have seen the look she gave me. The, um, um the, um, kettle corn. Kettle. Yeah. Sweet. But I also want to show you guys, Savannah has this little mixture mm. that's pickle juice and Valentina sauce. And she's dipping the popcorn in there. It's so good. It's Ooh. only lady popcorn. That's disgusting. It's about 4.30 in the morning and I've been up like two hours. I can't sleep. Um, tomorrow or today is my aunt's funeral and I don't know, I've just been tossing and turning and not having a very good night. Um, I am off work for the next two days and then I'll go back on Friday, but yeah, I'm just awake. I can't sleep. Just waiting for this day to be over with. It's gonna be hard. I am on my way to the funeral home, and the reason why I am by myself is because the tech people over there asked me to come earlier because I have my aunt's video. I made a whole separate YouTube channel just for the family for that one video that they can have access to it forever. Um, it's not even monetized. I'm not even benefiting from it. So that's just strictly for her kids, grandkids, and her family. Um, yeah, so I don't know why they want me to come so early and bring my laptop. In addition to that, I am going to Oak Park, and if anyone knows anything about Sacramento, Oak Park is the hood. Going right up in the middle of the hood for this funeral home. And yeah, if they don't need my laptop, I'm definitely not bringing it back out to the car. I'm just gonna keep it in my purse, so. I don't know, that's where I am headed. Um, the funeral starts at 11, and I think my mom said that the directors at the funeral home want the family there like around 10. I don't know why, but whatever. But they asked me to come earlier just to make sure that their equipment was compatible with what I have for the video. One of those days, you know you have to get through it, but you don't want to do it. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. Anyway, so um, my kiddos are gonna ride with Cheyenne, and then my mom is driving herself, so yeah. All right, of course I'm not gonna record the whole thing, but I don't know, we'll see you guys. If I don't record anything, then I'm sure you all will understand. Man, look at this pimping at its highest form. Look at that. You know you're doing it big when you got it like that, man. Then you step back and look at that man right there. What? Oh, 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 we haven't got it. Oh, oh, no. Look, we got the man. Come on, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> Are you stuck with two kiddos? <laughs>
So my mom's leaving, but I'm giving her this because it's not gonna go with my decor for my living room. Hello everyone, it is Friday, um, two days after my aunt's funeral and I am working from home today. We were all supposed to go into the office, but my boss actually texted us and was like, you know, hey, go ahead and work from home today. One of my coworkers, she's my age, her daughter actually passed away on Tuesday unexpectedly. She fell and hit her head and had a cardiac arrest and by the time they got her to the hospital she was gone so yeah um, my heart goes out to her so much and I love this co-worker she's so sweet and nice and yeah so anyway I know you guys understand that I didn't vlog a lot at my aunt's funeral and I didn't want to vlog her in a casket or anything like that because I don't know I just didn't that's private that's for family and whoever was there and Everything was going well, and I did get clips here and there of, well, pictures, and then I think I did like a picture or a video of the repast afterwards or whatever, but I didn't vlog anymore that day because not only was it emotionally draining because of what happened, but so at the end of the funeral, when they're wrapping everything up, so they made an announcement that immediately following, we were going to go to the burial site. And then after that, they were letting everyone know where the repast dinner is going to be. So everyone's going up, doing the final viewing before they close her casket. And they got to the last two rows. One of the funeral directors, um, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. So my aunt made it clear that she didn't want to be cremated and nothing's wrong with being cremated. But you know, when someone gives you their wishes, you want to make sure you follow through. So my other aunt, my aunt Diane, you know, she is the one who did the arrangements. What we're going to do is my aunt wasn't married. My grandmother who passed away years ago, they were going to, and we got all this approved, every, all the paperwork signed and everything. They were going to dig up my grandmother's grave. They were going to um, dig deeper, put my grandmother deeper, and then put my Aunt Rose on top of her. You know how they do that for some husbands and wives or whatever. So they were gonna do that because they didn't have any spots around and we wanted them to be buried together. So that's what the plan was. That's what the paperwork got signed for. That's what everyone thought was going to happen, okay? So go back to the funeral. One of the funeral directors came up to my Aunt Diane, like I said, the one who did handle all the, the arrangements and said, we're gonna take her to where the graveyard is and you're gonna have a service there. And then they're gonna, after that, they'll cremate her. And she was like, wait a minute, what? cremate her no so it was a whole thing my cousin which is my aunt's daughter she got really upset and was like you're not you know cremating my mom and it was a whole debacle and they were saying well we can't do all that now we were under the impression that she was going to be cremated and then I guess they did dig a hole but they only dug it enough for an urn to be fit in there and to be buried like that so they were like you know what that's what we thought pull out the paperwork that's not the case then they made an announcement that there won't be any burial today whatever so it's like it's embarrassing it made it look like the family didn't have any money or whatever to bury her and it was just a whole mix-up already emotional because of what's going on and her ki her adult children that are there you know and it's hard on them on the grandkids her grandkids so it just it was a whole whole mess long story short throwing out lawsuits and bringing out paperwork and this and that. The funeral home, they knew they messed up. The place where she was going to be buried, they knew they messed up, whatever. So all of a sudden they said, oh, someone donated a plot next to my grandmother and she's gonna be buried there today. So we were like, who donates a spot? Y'all had a spot ready already, so they fixed some things. We were able to go to the grave site and do a final thing there, and it was just the family, because by this time, everyone 
that was like friends with my aunt and her church members, they had left because they had thought that we were not going to the burial grounds that day. So I hope I'm making sense with this. It's trust me, it was a whole mix up. So they did like a small service there. You know how they go do that. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And then the pallbearers, what they did was they took my aunt into some kind of vault. No one went out later on because um, it's just too emotional. So we did everything there. So long story short, my aunt did get buried. We just didn't see her go down in the ground um, because of the funeral homes mix up and it was just emotionally draining and her daughter was just I, I felt for her we had to console her and my cousin she was like you know how dare they and she was like I can't imagine my mom being you know cremated and whatever and like I said nothing's wrong with being cremated but when someone passes you want to do what you can to honor their wishes so yeah what if the lady didn't say anything I don't know I don't know they messed up big time so yeah that was a whole thing y'all and then I think I inserted a picture or I will insert a picture of my family and that's just a small fraction of us you guys I mean we run deep when we used to get together it was a lot of us and if my house was big enough I would have actually had all of them over but my house is not I mean my house is decent but it's not huge it's not big at all it's I have a quaint little house yes it's a four bedroom two bath two car garage but it's not big enough to host huge you know parties and get togethers just small little tiny ones but yeah um set out that to say just giving you guys an update of what's been going on so yeah and everyone loved the video that I did for my aunt and I made a separate YouTube I don't know if I told you guys I made a separate YouTube channel for that that's not even linked to any of my other channels I'm not gonna profit from it it's not monetized that's just so the family can have access to see her the video anytime they want that's going to be up there forever unless youtube goes away um but i still have it on my sd card and i have it on my laptop which i'm going to keep because i know there's a way to put it on dvd it's just that i don't have the equipment to do it looking at the time because i'm on lunch, my lunch so once i figure it out i'll do it that way that way i can have a, a copy of it on a dvd disc anyway so today's friday and when I get off work today, not right when I get off work, but later on, I am going to go to the hair shop, try to find some new hair. It's time. This is Easter weekend. Today is Good Friday um, and Sunday's Easter Resurrection Sunday. I love Easter. I just do. I don't know. And after that, um, maybe go to the grocery store. Nothing much. I've been talking for 10 minutes, y'all, looking at the time. Anyway, let me enjoy the rest of my lunch because... Yeah, let me get some lunch. And he don't have a jacket on either, so how far you want to go down, Savannah? We're in OSAC. Look at the bridge. And Shine and Tyreek are here with us. And we're on the waterfront. It's cold. No, they're not going to keep putting locks here. I don't know why that was there, but... Yeah, we're by the Delta King Hotel over there. And Savannah's taking pictures. We're, we are actually waiting to go eat at Joe's Crab Shack. And there's my boy. He, everyone was telling you happy birthday. So, <laughs> yeah, we're eating for his birthday. I know it is overexposed. I need to change the setting. Hold on. Maybe that'll be better. Just ordered our food and our drinks, but we just have water right now. So, and then we have the birthday boy. Ooh, no. I got lobster bisque soup and great balls of fire. Almost forgot to log our food. Savannah so got corn and fries, and that's Cheyenne's food. Over there. 